Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 7th of 2024 is titled the Cat's Eye Nebula in Optical and X-Ray. So what do we see here? Well, here we have the nebula known as the Cat's Eye Nebula, and it is an example of a planetary nebula and one of the ones that we can study the best. Now, what is a planetary nebula? Well, this is the end state of a star much like our own sun. When a star like our sun exhausts its fuel, the core will collapse downward to what we call a white dwarf star. So it will have run out of energy, run out of all sources of fuel, and that will come back down to a very dense object about the size of Earth, but still containing the majority of the matter that is in the sun right now. Now the outer layers will become very diffuse and will expand outward. The sun will become a super giant star, filling much of the inner solar system and will then eventually be expelled. Now if you think about it when it becomes that large the outer layers are not very well he held by the central white dwarf. The escape velocity is low and any instabilities or pulsations could then expel that material out into space. And perhaps that is why we see multiple designs here as material was expelled out at different times during the evolution of the star. Now those outer layers will continue to expand out into space and will eventually dissipate. A planetary nebula phase is a relatively short lived phase of a star's life or you want to call it death. It's the very earliest phase kind of between as the star is dying and expelling that last material out. It only lasts tens of thousands of years very small compared to the other stages of the life of a star. And eventually it will dissipate completely and all that will be left behind is the white dwarf star itself. So if we could come back in a 100,000 years and look at the cat's eye nebula, it wouldn't be there. Those, those gases would have expelled out into space. The white dwarf star would no longer be hot enough to illuminate them, to energize them and cause them to glow. And they would just continue expanding outward, dark gas expanding outward into space. Now the white dwarf star would remain visible. So we would still be able to see the white dwarf star as it will remain very hot for a long period of time. Nothing really happens with the white dwarf star except that it eventually cools off and eventually will become a black dwarf star. However, this is a very time consuming process and there has not yet been enough time in the entire history of the universe for even the first stars to have become white dwarf stars after the Big Bang to have cooled off enough to become a black dwarf. But as the universe continues to expand and stars go through their lives, if we could come back a trillion years from now, the universe could be dominated by these black dwarf stars, the leftover remnants of stars, much like our own sun. So that was our picture of the day for January 7th of 2024. It was titled the Cat's Eye Nebula in Optical and X-Ray. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previews to, previewed to be Venus year-round. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.